Hello and welcome back to another video and in today's video, yes, we are going to be doing some more video game music and we're going to be going back to where it all began with Final Fantasy 14 and today we're going to be looking at another track from the Primals uh, which is called White Stone Black from the album, I suppose, or the collection of Forge Ahead. So what we're going to do uh, if you're new here, is that we're going to watch and listen and react to the song all the way through um, without stopping. And then we're going to go over it. We'll talk about it. I'll write some notes. And then we'll go over it again. Um, and we'll talk about it and stop and start for a second playthrough. Before we do that, please do like the video and subscribe to the channel as well. It does really help me out if you can do that. And also leave a comment below. It's been a while since we've done some Final Fantasy XIV um, music on this channel. So please put some recommendations of songs from Final Fantasy XIV and the other Final Fantasies as well. Um, or anything really in the comment section below and we can get some more of those done on the channel but I thought it'd been a while so let's have a little look back and I saw that this video uh, as on the time of recording this came out um, quite recently so um, I think it's going to be new I don't know I'm not really sure what this is so this is really really cool and very very exciting to see uh, but having said that let's get into the reaction so let's get into here so we've got a full video today so uh, I'm expecting you know the usual from the primals which is just excellent excellent showmanship and music so let's get into this reaction then so let us react to white stone black music video from the primals from the final fantasy 14 order head soundtrack in three two one go okay righty Ah, okay. Okay. Thank you. 
ha, ha, ha. Yes. Wait, wait. Oh, the arrangement album. When is this out? This better be out on Spotify, man. I'm going to be so pissed off if it's not. Come on, man. Put these on Spotify. Anyway. Anyway, sorry. Um, right. That was a really interesting track. I need to... I'm not... I can't remember... I'm pretty sure I haven't heard this before. Um, I'm not sure. Yeah, I haven't played the game in a long time, to be honest. Not since um, I finished Endwalker. That was like over a year ago now. So I'm not really sure where this comes in the game. And I'm not sure what the story is behind it, to be honest. But it is, it's, it's really interesting. Um, and what some of the choices. And it really does feel like it's, you know... And it's a kind of a theme a lot in the game where a lot of um, the, you know, the scenes and the set pieces are all kind of in a mix of consciousnesses and it kind of does feel like it is a bit of, you know, an in and out of reality sort of situation with this, within this music. And at least that's how it sounds to me. And there's a few choices that lead me to that thought process, which we'll go through in the second playthrough, which I may as well do right now. So let's get back and listen to it again and we'll stop and start and we'll have uh, a talk about uh, a few things. Right on. So it's interesting to get this kind of like very like damp sounding kind of bass line in it um and it's got sort of descending down this this scale and this high pitch kind of tension it's almost like strings but it's not strings it's like a synth to kind of lead us into this it, it sounds very ominous in a way but obviously it's got that modern element to it where it's you know it's electronic music and not and not classical not classical instruments um which is quite interesting um, as it leads us into the song. Let's keep going. Now that the, the vocal there is really, really interesting. Before the song kicks in, it's just um, obviously it kind of the song starts with the hook, and then we have this very heavily like phased vocal effect and it sounds again like it's obviously not a very clear and natural sound purposefully so that kind of gives you the impression that this is you know very much a a dreamlike song in that in that sense <laughs> I also like the mix of the guitars there in that mix that we have that really high kind of very punky almost um, kind of indie or, or sort of sound to that one of the guitars doing that was really high kind of strumming um, and then the, the lower kind of power chords chunkier sound as well and I actually really really like that that tone of the, of the more rhythm guitar I think it's a really really nice full tone to that guitar. <laughs> And this is the thing, I'm guessing this is, uh, because of the repetition of the lyrics, this is like a boss theme, I'm, I'm, I'm guessing. Um, or, a, you know, like a, a trial thing, a theme. Um, so, and this is like, a, the, this, is, this will obviously keep, this would obviously keep repeating through a certain phase of the fight and then it will change as, as you um, get the life down hp down um yeah i like the the kind of other vocal and um, the very um brain the other synthetic like effect as well underneath that as well as that carries on um yeah it, it seems to just kind of be building a little bit at this point <laughs> And now we've kind of got some other sorts of effect underneath it, but it sounds like whispers that have been kind of edited so much that it kind of sounds, it doesn't quite sound as clear clear as a vocal, which again, it kind of adds this kind of, again, 
slipping through consciousness is is what is real what isn't is is it kind of supports that kind of um again that kind of line of thinking that i was going with <laughs> It's interesting as well. You're getting like again the phase. The phaser is being used a lot in this song, and a really phased out guitar sound where it's not. Not it's not clean in in a sense. Everything's kind of a bit mixed and muddy with each other. And I don't mean that as a as a criticism. Obviously, I mean that's kind of the choice. Um, and the kind of the blending of it, of it together is really really interesting. Um. Really really interesting to listen to. Um, and wonder sort of like. Where does this fit? Where does this song fit? <laughs> This is cool to have this sort of like a breakdown section with just you know the clapping um let the vocal sit more forward as well i it's and this is the thing it's good to have a moment like this because with all the effects on the vocal it's kind of it's not super clear what the lyrics are um so to kind of have a little bit of a moment where they can sit in front of everything i think um is quite nice Really, really nice bass line here as well, really nice. That was a really interesting solo, because um, it's not the solo I was expecting to happen. Um, obviously, with the song the way it is, it's quite a you know a high paced song. I was expecting lots of legato running through scales, quite high playing some you know pinch harmonics, which we did get in this song, um, which we did get in, in, within the solo. But you know, I, I was expecting to be broken up a lot more. But it was a lot of bends and squeals and. Um, vibrato um and it, again it kind of fits with the rest of the song in the sense that it kind of just blends into each other and it's kind of you know it, it doesn't particularly follow a, a melody but it's it's quite you know it mixes together and blends um really interestingly with with the rest of the music and particularly the end part where it's kind of going up that that semitone and the note didn't quite fit in the in the song but that's obviously quite a jazzy thing but it's supposed to make you feel quite you know uneasy about it um it's obviously done on purpose you know to kind of make it stand out a little bit more think on what's what's going on here that's a bit it's a bit strange um so we're really obviously a, th a very thematic uh, guitar solo um to kind of fit with the you know the theme of of the, the song and the game and it's not just like a showcase of technical ability it's um obviously has a very particular it has been designed for a very particular reasons <laughs> Thank you. 
This vocal's really nice as well on the harmonies together. Uh, it's quite high up as well, so it sounds a bit angelic in a sense. So that's, a, again, another kind of nod to, um, you know, being it, of this being a bit more dreamlike in, in, a, in a sense. <laughs> Fading out with some feedback. Yeah, that was a really, really, really interesting song. Um, a bit more, I suppose, laid back in, in comparison to the other songs, but I really, really enjoyed it. It was very, 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 very interesting to listen to. Uh, let me know what you thought of this in, in the comment section below. And uh, I'm not sure how many songs are on this Forge Ahead album. It doesn't say, but... If there are more of these videos, um, we'll certainly be reacting to more more of them. Um, so, yeah, let me know what you thought of the song. And let me know what we should listen to next. Um, yeah, did you like the song? Did you not like it? Let me know in the comments below. Um, if you are new here, if you're new here, please do subscribe and, and like the video as well. It really helps me out. But having said all of that, thank you all so much for watching. And I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Thank you very much. Goodbye. Bye.